Hi, my name is Jesper Peterson. I'm the author of Kidabar. In the following few presentation, I'll show you what Kidabar is all about. But first, ask yourself this simple question. Why do you take images with your camera? I guess the answer is as simple as you want to be able to see them later on, right? If you think a bit more about it, you might even want to be able to search for images based on criteria like who is on the image, where is it taken, etc. At least that was my requirement to an image application, and these were the design goals behind Kitaba. Enough talk for now, let's see the mouse in action. I'd like to show you an image I took with two good friends from Las Vegas. I visited them eight times, so had my images just been stored in directories with names like Las Vegas Visit August 2000, then I would have had to search through eight directories, each with a few hundred images. Fortunately, I'm using Kitaba, and fortunately, I've tagged all my images, so finding the image is very easy. Start your stopwatch, and I'll show you how fast I can do it. I know the image is taken in Las Vegas, so let me choose location, and from the available locations, choose Las Vegas. That limited my search to 418 images. By now, I could have a look at my images and manually search through the 418 images. But the cool thing about Kitabar is that I can continue specifying criteria. so let me tell Kitabar that I only want to see those images that Jimbo is on. There we are, down to 102 images. I also know Wayne is on the image, so let me add that to my search criteria. Now we're down to 34 images which has Jimbo and Wayne on it, and which is taken in Las Vegas. Let's see them. Ah, here is the image. Stop! Your stopwatch, that is. How long did it take? Not more than 10 to 15 seconds, I imagine. Could you have done that with a directory-based approach? I don't think so.